Hey girlfriends, so today I'm going to show you guys how I went from black to burgundy with my virgin hair in just a few simple steps. So I'm using hair from Beauty Forever as always. I'm using their Brazilian Natural Wave and I got three bundles as well as a closure. My order consisted of a 16 inch closure as well as an 18, 22 and 22 inch bundle. Keep in mind my closure is a body wave closure so it had a slightly different texture from the Natural Wave bundles. And we're just going to grab a few quick items. I got the Adore color in the color Magenta as well as Fiesta Fuchsia, some BW2 powder, 40 volume developer, some disposable gloves, a tint bowl and brush, as well as a very large trash bag to protect my surface from the color. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix my BW2 powder. If you're a beginner at lightening or coloring hair, I highly suggest that you follow the directions on your bottle. I prefer a more creamy consistency when it comes to my lightener, so I pretty much just eyeball the measurements. I had about four scoops of the BW2 powder and an equal amount of the developer. And I just grabbed my bundles. I put them on these little hangers to help the application process out, make it a little bit more organized. And I'm just going to apply the lightener towards the ends first and then I'll work my way up to the mids and then last but not least the roots. This is going to give me a very nice ombre effect and it's going to make the hair look a little bit more natural. Our hair naturally lightens towards the ends and are pretty pretty dark towards the roots. And if you want to go for a more subtle form of color having dark roots is a very very great way of achieving that you don't have to worry about your eyebrows being too harsh towards the color so I went for a dark dark root and here you can see I went ahead and did the ends the mids and now I'm going in vertically with the brush up and down to create a more blended look I won't have too many harsh lines and it'll just look very very nice and subtle Repeat this throughout all of your bundles as well as your closure and be sure not to get the bleach on the lace if you did not plan on bleaching your closure. But I went ahead and bleached my lace on my closure as well as the hair itself. And here is what it ended up looking like. I left it on for about 45 minutes, grabbed my two longest bundles which were my 222 inch bundles and this is what I'm going to start by adding the color on my longest bundles. I'm going for more of a cranberry effect when it comes to the color of red that I like. So I'm going half and half with the color. I use about 60 milliliters of the Fiesta Fuchsia as well as 60 milliliters of the magenta and anytime I needed to remix the color if I ran out of the color I made sure that it was nice and equal parts and mix the two together before I applied it to the hair. And now you're pretty much just going to apply this to the hair. You don't have to be super neat with it as long as you get the color on. Make sure that all of the blonde pieces are heavily coated. You do not want to go through this entire process. Rinse out the hair, have it air dry, and it's time to style and you realize you have a lot of holidays as they used to call it in our beauty school or any bright blonde spots that you ended up missing. So make sure that you heavily apply this color and make sure that every strand is covered. Now when it came down to the closure, I laid down some aluminum foil to protect the lace. I didn't want the lace to have a red tint to it. I wanted it to have a nice scalp tone or flesh tone. So I just went ahead and put down that aluminum foil to hold down the lace and I went in carefully throughout each strand to make sure that it was heavily coated with the red hair dye without getting the lace caught. So all of our bundles as well as our closure is already colored. Everything looks very great. I just went back in and just made sure that everything was heavily coated. I rinsed it out with some cold water until it ran clear. And here are my final results as far as the color. As you can see, everything looks really, really nice and vibrant. The ends are the brightest. These are my two longest bundles, so they're the brightest. And the 18 inch bundle is a little bit darker. And of course the closure is the darkest. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on the closure and customize it to my liking. I wanted a middle part so I wanted it to be a little bit more wider than how it came. This is a free part closure so I'm able to customize it exactly how I would like. And I like to pull back a little bit of the baby hairs and thin it out a little bit to look a little bit more natural. And now we can go ahead and just start our wig construction. I'm just laying down the closure and just sewing that down first and then I will be sewing down my bundles from the longest to the shortest. So I'll lay down the two 22 inch bundles. Preferably the lightest bundle will go down first, then the darkest, and then last but not least, the 18 inch bundle. I 
I'm using the fold over method to create this wig. I want it to minimize as much shedding as possible, although Beauty Forever hair rarely ever sheds. But here is my final results as far as my wig. Everything's sewn together. And as you guys can see, it goes from the darkest root all the way down to the lightest ends. And I'm just going to prep the hair for styling using my Arvazaya Argan Oil for my heat protectant. And just going in and flat iron the hair. This hair straightens very, very nice. It is a natural wave, so it's not super, super defined like a body wave. And it's not super, super straight to where it's like super straight hair. But it does straighten very, very well. Has lots of body and the Adore hair color leaves it with a ton of shine and it doesn't look super super dry at the end so I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair bone straight to my liking but not least if you ever end up lightening or coloring your bundles I highly suggest that you let the hair air dry instead of blow drying it to minimize dryness in your hair and keep the luster and shine in it so here are the final results I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial I love this red color on me I love how it came out the subtle roots everything just kind of melting in and blending in together I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to check out my review for this hair and I'll see you guys in the next video love you guys